I need one. I need one now. I'm taking these. Wait, <laughs> so look at their little hands. They have no nails. They're cool, right? Yeah, they got no nails. Goodbye, children. <laughs> one day old and they're running fast. Yeah, they come right out of the egg, ready to go. Oh, yeah. So now we're going to go see the deer. Ooh, free tomatoes. What are you doing, Ooh, ben? Free tomatoes. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here at Blake Exotic Animal Ranch. Today we have Ben from Urban Rescue Ranch here to tour the ranch. I paid thousands for this tour. Let's go check out all the animals. <laughs> so first up, right here, Ben kept on checking this guy out right here, and you know what this is? Uh, is it Galapagos tortoise? The Galapagos tortoise, world's largest tortoise in the world. Big G right here. We got him for five years old now. <laughs> Would this fit in my car? You want to try? No, we're not letting him take it. <laughs> all right, Ben, so this right here is Oliver and Callie, our small clawed Asian otters. What? That is Oliver right there. He's a good little boy. He's Sometimes he can be a little bit feisty, but his girlfriend, on the other hand, she's always feisty. So Poke. Always... <laughs> oh. oh, man. <laughs> you got to get one do of these for your the... ranch. Yeah, we do. I need one. I need one now. I'm taking these. <laughs> Wait, so look at their little hands they have no nails they're cool right yeah they got no nails no how nails they, how very they, very very small ones how do they crack things open those are the sea otters oh so they don't need to no they don't and they just grab fish they and have eat big them. old jaws crunch them down with their jaws and that's it will they use their hands to catch fish yep. wow hello little man oh <laughs> real cool look at them swimming underneath the water yeah real neat so who did this whole thing for you? This is Aquascape. Aquascape made this whole entire enclosure wow. for us. Oh, yeah. we used to have this same thing. Yeah. Our... Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, real neat. And oh, then Callie like likes this, to play with She likes to chase it around. Yeah, she's a clown. That's so cool. <laughs> All right, next up, this is our Asian area. So now we're going to go see our Munjack deer. So inside of here, we have uh, Peanut and Nutella. And you're asking where these guys are from. They're actually from Asia, but there's a huge invasive group of them in the UK. And a lot of friends of mine tell me that they're out there. Oh, so they can live in cold climates. Oh, yeah, they can live in the cold. Wow. Are you from Texas? Yeah, and I know people have them here. Yeah, so it, a lot of people in Texas have them as well. I figured Texas was warm enough for them. That's insane. Yeah, they're real neat little guys. That's her boyfriend down there. She might smell your hands. She's my favorite creature so far at the Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. <laughs> yeah, she's real nice. She might be actually pregnant, too. Really? Yeah. Yeah. They've been showing a lot of signs of breeding. All right, there are the baby ducks at, Ben. They're right Ooh, over there. Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Ben's a clown. Goodbye, children. <laughs> One day old and they're running fast. Yeah, they come right out of the egg, ready to go. Oh, yeah. So, I know you, everyone calls you Uncle Ben. You have uh, Rias, you have Ostrich, and you have Emus. Yes, sir. So maybe in the future, you're going to get some of these cool guys. That's the goal. If I don't care about my health and well-being, I would love to get four of these. Four of them? <laughs> oh, my God. Four females. <laughs> and just have their eggs and just farm their eggs. Exactly. That's what I'm doing here. And their eggs are just this beautiful, bright the green, green color. Yeah. yeah beautiful. Man. I can't wait to see every one of you get some of those. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Beautiful. So moving right along, this inside of here. Have you seen this on YouTube? Yes. So this is my massive aviary. Everybody absolutely loves it on my channel. What do you think about it? This is what I tell everybody about with my country thing. This is my favorite thing because it's just so simple, but it's you don't see this anywhere else. I don't see anyone else with an aviary this big. I appreciate that. Um, it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then what's, wait, so what's this? No, so this oh, is this actually is, a hose. Oh, just for them to land on. So this is actually a hose the otters bit. Destroyed it, so mm -hmm. I just tied it up. It's black, it doesn't show, it looks awesome. And now it's for perching. Correct, the birds jump on it, and it's like a natural branch, so they just love hanging out on it. Very cool. What nest in that little box there? We have the wood ducks, the mandarins, the ring teals will uh, nest in it, and the, uh, that's all. Wow. Yeah. We have six different species of ducks that live inside of here. Where did you get all of the structure for this pond? So I have a buddy of mine that works in landscaping, so I called him when he has to remove giant oak trees because uh -huh. they destroy the roads. He cuts them down the certain way I want them, we bring them here. Perfect. Yeah, so we have a bunch of those. Where did you get the rocks? Ben's asking where we got the rocks. The rocks are actually a local rock that's the South Florida limestone. Very cool. The otter uh, ones, actually me and my girlfriend went to Alabama and picked those out. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. And the whole waterfall is made out of natural logs, all combined inside of it. Mm -hmm. And the professor built this uh, waterfall for me. And then, of course, the stars of the show. Everybody loves Poncho and Pinky. Poncho! Poncho, get your cringe uh, uh over here. Oh, wow. Yeah, everybody loves these and guys. And what are they? These are called gray wing trumpeters. They're omnivores. They eat anything that can move that's small enough. And I'm going to ask you, see if you know this question. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can answer this one. Where do you think they sleep at night? On the top or on the bottom? Probably the 
probably the bottom just from how they hang out here so much so they are floor dwelling birds but mm -hmm. every single night they sleep all the way in the top interesting yeah so every night they love to sleep up there very cool both of them go up there it's real neat get away from all the predators and stuff yeah do you ever worry about predators coming that's my first question just because i've had to build random things not this big but yeah what do you so, worry about with you predators are not too too bad here i got lucky but yeah there are different predator situations so if you see where the logs are at up there mm -hmm. i like to make sure they're not too close to the net because i had other friends mm -hmm. say that the hawks will come in and they'll grab the bird through the net and kill them through the net oh. so you want to keep perches away from the fences as much as you can so the birds don't get hit and then um the biggest problem i'm sure and i've seen on your videos is rats oh i bet yeah so cool. when you have birds there's going to be rats when you have a farm you have ranch there's always going to be a little bit of food around you're going to have rats so we always have that traps up and get rid of them do you worry about rats attacking something small like those little miniature ducks that size no i'm good with those size okay nothing will happen with them but, but babies baby ducks correct actually yeah. the big problem here with the ducks is because it's a huge ecosystem with them a bunch of different animals the turtles are the problem here they'll so eat baby ducks yeah so i oh. have to collect the ducks and move them out of the way if i want them to survive yeah but and the it, ducks will eat them that's a part of the ecosystem yep yeah all right so let's keep on moving we're gonna go get some bread and we're gonna go feed the biggest animal here on the ranch look at that one nesting yeah that's a white mandarin i think she's just chilling out right now but oh, she really? might be nesting who knows i haven't checked her out you that's know, for the birds don't swing on it not for us no no, no it's not for us <laughs> like oh a swing <laughs> yeah yeah no, no. I know, cool i know some of them are starting to nest inside of here oh yeah do they nest in trees oh yeah so two days ago we only had one egg inside of here right now let's check this out duck laying season you guys and these are those mandarins these are mandarins or ring teals i'm not 100 percent sure what they're one? yeah go ahead <laughs> <laughs> hey where are you going with my egg all the nests are going to be actually filling up now cool perfect yeah, so real neat if you want any waterfowl let me know i can send them out to you i ship them out to you not anywhere I, you're not a i would love that honestly hey, i wouldn't mind know. hatching one of them out especially the eggs yeah I, I don't really sell the fertile eggs i normally hatch them out and then sell them when they're already fully feathered but just, if you're interested in that do you have issues with them breaking whenever you put them in shipping i've never shipped eggs personally yeah but i have eggs gotten shipped to me with other species so we could try it mm -hmm. and see what happens wish oh. us luck when you do it sure so we're here with ben and as you guys know ben has cappies as well Whoa. we have baby capybaras born on the ranch and these guys are absolutely adorable almost jumped down my hand right there i'm enamored with you go. This little so this creature. is the craziest one this is the blue feet one this is the boy yeah so he's, he's, a, he's a special little guy but he's good Cool wow. dude, right? Yeah, man. Such awesome. Literally the food. same size as a guinea pig whenever they're babies. Yep, 100%. Yeah. And you're just giving them guinea pig food, a little bit of corn. Greens, sweet potato, apple. I give them all sorts of stuff, and then they're all still on bottles. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, they're still on the bottle. How long will these guys be on the bottle for again? It's been a while. My breeder told me three months. Three months, yeah. So we slowed it down a little bit, but, you know, we, we, you put the milk on the grain at night as well, so they're getting more nutrients. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right, so Ben really, really has been asking me. He really wants moors, so we're going to give moors to Ben so he can feed his prairie dog back in Texas. Yes, um, he's starving. We need to save his life, and, so this, and that's, you know, this is the only way to do it. That's what we're going to do, you guys. So say bye to moors, and moors is going to head to Texas. But before we do that, we got to fatten her up a little bit more so that the prairie dog is more fatter. Yeah. There you go. It's not enough to just give him a whole apple. We need to give him a cow that just ate a whole apple. There you go. There you go, Benny. Wow. Is his name Benny? Yeah. Wow. Here you go. Just like, just like me. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. You gotta get yourself a cow. Yeah. Soon. They're just so hard to get hold of. <laughs> They're so rare in Texas. They're so rare, yeah. <laughs> I bet. Super rare. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here with Uncle Ben, Urban Rescue Ranch here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Appreciate you coming here. Thank you for the cow course and uh, next time I'm in Texas probably have to come by one time Very, definitely Very. definitely see you guys later